I'm Ronnie Kohavi, and with Nan Yu Chen, we wrote false positives in A-B tests. P-values are hard to explain. Here's what Professor Goodman, who wrote several papers on misconceptions and P-values, had to say. Can you explain what a P-value is in a sentence? <laughs> well, I've actually spent my entire career about the definition of P-values, but I cannot tell you what it means, and almost nobody can. With the industry standard of 0.05, if you get a p-value above 0.05, you're in pain. You cannot reject the null. You might get angry. But if you get a p-value below 0.05, it means you can reject the null, and that will increase the odds your paper will get accepted because your idea works out. The question we address in the paper is when you reject the null, what is the probability that you have a false positive? That's a serious problem, and even though vendors might tell you otherwise, that's not how the statistics work. The Stat Engine is our unique proprietary statistical model that gives you the confidence to know that your results are always accurate. No more false positives. There are three contributions we make in the paper. We show how to estimate the true success rate. It allows us to compute that false positive risk that we want, and we estimate that Optimizely has a 38% false positive risk. That means a third of the results are false. Expedia has a 28%. We show that most organizations should set alpha 0 0.05 or lower, even though many choose 0 0.10. Expedia is now in the process of lowering it to 0 0.05. And we share a procedure that extends experiments and show that it reduces the FPR from 22% to 6% without loss of power and with only a 20% increase in the average experiment duration.